Uh, we talked to Pavel Berman. Uh, we just came out from a panel about competition, how to prepare what a jury member is looking for. And I hear you saying something about confidence on stage. So I would like to ask you, how can you be convincing on stage? Well, it comes from uh, preparation, first of all. You have to be uh, sure about every detail you, you're presenting. Uh, about the concept of the piece, uh, about what you want to communicate. Everything, it's many, many components. It helps for your uh, confidence. Also, of course, the stage uh, practice is very important. So you sh before the competition, you should try to play as many times on stage as possible. Even though the, the competition is different, but still the presence of the audience is is important then also if you start to make many competitions then you get used to it so it, it's easier after all uh, but uh, also you have to really believe everything what you are doing so every detail or, or, or your entire concept you have to be really true to that you can't fool anyone because when you are not believing what you're doing nobody else going to believe so you actually say that it's also important to have a personal sound, to be uh, authentic, to have a personal performance. Um, how do you prepare your students to have a personal performance? Well, it's a more psychological question than just professional, because uh, what do we have to do as teachers? We have to give some guidelines and, and help to solve some, some problems uh, and give sort propose sort of the path they could, they could follow. But then the other part is uh, to really, really understand who is in front of you, which means it's not to impose your system or your own ideas, but to understand the other personality, uh, what this person is about. Do you think that it's uh, also a different way of teaching today than when you were, for example, having your lessons with your teachers? Well, uh, you see, uh, I think, let's say, I took a lot from my teachers also in a way I'm teaching. Uh, but of course I have my own concepts as well. I think it's uh, not that the way of teaching uh, is very much different, the substance of it. The, the, the times are different, the, the social behavior is different. Uh, and so it's more external differences rather than internal, I think. And uh, also uh, every period of time has its own approach towards the um, style of uh, especially the Baroque and classical period. That's why I take uh, talk a lot about the general culture also. Uh, playing Bach, let's say, it's not just the question of style, it's a, of musical style. It's a question of what you want to to Extreme, what you want to express and convey to your listener. How do you understand this music? What message you get from there? Because the technical the point, it depends from there. Because if you really understand it, you will get the right phrasing. If you get any right emotion, if you get this, then the, the violinistically you, you will do it. Uh, but you can't get it just by playing notes. So you have to know more historically and maybe not only personally about Bach. It's really about the period of time and about religion, about philosophy, about many, many things. And then you start to feel more at home with this music. And when that happens, uh, you don't need the gut strings to, uh, to exprime the, the something convincing.